Nothing destroys a person's life like anger. They are angry people here and all over the world. You cannot have anger and prosper. It's impossible. You cannot succeed in life with anger in you. There's a limitation. And anger also is generational. If you don't deal with it now, you or your children will pick it up. Can I tell you something before you even get deeper? That's the worst thing in the Bible. Anger damages you. Anger damages people around you. Anger damages families. Anger damages your financial finances. Anger damages everything about your life. Anger will rob you of your health. Anger will rob you of happiness. I've never seen an angry person happy. Anger is a trap of the devil. It is a deep pit. Once a person falls into that black pit of anger, you know where the pit is, but you don't know how deep this pit is. Anger is like an approaching train. Visualize a train approaching full speed train full speed can you stop it that's how anger is with anger you lose everything when i say everything it is everything you lose everything what you have worked for what you have treasured you want to lose everything there are people in here now you got nothing because of anger you made your judgment you made your conclusion based on anger you cannot have the holy spirit in you when you got anger and you cannot be a neutral person when uh, when the spirit of god goes out of a human being a dark spirit comes in when that dark spirit has come in did you repent and confess before god otherwise you are still a dead person nothing will work that's why now from anger you have gone through full throttle you are full of bitterness right now you are full of bitterness to show that god is not pleased with you nothing is working For example, any home, couple home, where there's lack, financial lack, one of you is angry. As a result, there'll be lack. You, you see what God did to Ken. Go out. He took him out of Garden of Eden and put him, I think, to the east or west. Out. And he said, vagabond spirit will be new. People here, they got vagabond spirit. They keep on moving everywhere. I don't know what they're looking for church to church uh shop to shop location to location what are you looking for this is a vagabond where did it come from envy it started with envy from there where did it go <sighs> angry when you're angry you feel hot when it's cold you lose appetite you don't want to eat I got no appetite please i got no appetite no I, I, I want just water your saliva becomes thick in your mouth all manner of sickness is found in anger please don't at any time give ear to an angry person i'm warning you i'm warning you an angry person is that trend that is coming full throttle can you hold it anger will bring you under a curse you work and work and nothing works god said when you are angry immediately you are angry the earth where you are here is cast and this earth god does not allow it 
to bring forth increase for you an angry person is a dead person dead the way you revive a dead person that's how you revive an angry person same because it is the soul body and the mind they are all done the bible say do not look at the face of an angry person you you make a mistake by looking at the face of an angry person that's looking at an idol when somebody's angry is an idol and god forbids to look at an idol how many idols have you been looking at god said it's forbidden to look at an idol it is forbidden to look at an angry person no one can be angry and beautiful angry people are ugly people a happy person even no makeup you think they have got makeup the more you purify yourself the more connected you are to hashem an angry person becomes a vessel for idol worship anger destroys the soul completely you raise your voice you shout you yell what is all this you are not in control of yourself that's a sure sign you are not in control of yourself the devil is and you cannot confess to say i'm not in control you think you are anger is a stronghold of satan once the devil gains control over a person through anger he rules this person anger does not stimulate a blessing in one's life anger only brings curse and every sickness an angry person is governed by a strange god small g today we've got to beg for forgiveness from god inspect you must be real and serious about yourself not this repentance that oh lord forgive me you know i was very angry with my sister so forgive me i forgive her now forgive me too that's not repentance you got to cry this thing i say it's contamination it's contaminated it has ruined your thinking it has ruined your body it has ruined your soul you are going back to psalm 23 he restores my soul you got to be restored in your soul today it's not just forgive me lord the way i spoke to my boss i was very angry the way i spoke to my brother the way i spoke to my wife my husband that's not it it should be genuine repentance angry wife weakens the husband now you wife because that's why the bible says blessings come from you now when you weaken your husband by being angry you have destroyed your husband's self image and you have destroyed your husband's confidence you amount to nothing as a result your husband will not succeed know today that anger affects finances anger 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 oh affects finances tell your neighbor 